What up, Instagram? What up, Facebook? What's up with y'all? Look, I talked to my manager today. We was on live, and uh, he said that he want me to keep pushing my music. And I told him, I push nothing else to 2021 from this new shit, but he's like, you know what I'm saying? You should do it, you know? So I'm just gonna perform this the last time. You know what I'm saying? 2020 live. I'm gonna perform this new shit one more time because I want y'all streaming. You feel me? It's on Reverb Nation. But he want me to do it, and I'm going to do it for the simple fact. I'm going to do this shit for my uncle. I'm going to do this shit for my homegirl that got stage four cancer, Tiana. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do this for her. So this performance here go to family. Nothing but love, y'all. All right? So here we go. I'm going to play it because my manager told me to do this shit, y'all. Other than Myers would be singing this shit live. But here we go. Fuck with it. Live and direct. No voice layovers. No hook, no nothing, it's all me, y'all. <laughs> fucked up. I just ain't trying to show it. Cause that ain't my nature. I, I hold things to myself. You know, sometimes I do show out. Earlier today I showed out on Facebook, pissed off. But I spoke my heart. I don't give a fuck. I ain't taking shit back. I said, <laughs> not a goddamn thing. I meant it. I did. I really did. Now the next song coming up is Light of Fire. 
Because what's what good is it for me to do one song if I ain't gonna do the other one, right? <laughs> Y'all wanna hear all the new shit, right? So we gonna do all the new shit. What up, Instagram land, Facebook land? I see y'all. Angela, Raven, Tiffany, Motor, MC, M2, M, Baby C75. I see everybody, man. How y'all doing out there? The next song coming up is Light of Fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Time to set that shit off right. Ha. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Light of fire. 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 Light of fire.
already know. Keep it lit. Then I'm gonna repeat. If they talk, bitch, you make the fuck go. They shit. This is what I'm talking about. Bang! Hey! Thank y'all for tuning in. <laughs> to my little quarantine concert, thanks to my manager for telling me to uh, perform this. I wasn't gonna do shit, I'm telling you. <laughs> I done did a few of these performances, but you know, this is probably y'all last one for a little while, cause I'm finna be in the studio writing a whole new two year worth of tracks. <laughs> 2021 and 2022, I'm already starting on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm always step ahead of shit. So, uh, <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in. Follow my Reverb Nation, y'all. It's Cool Lady Cool. I got music up from 1994 all the way up to now. And I'm going to put some more on tonight. Karma Sutra will be up there. The beast going to come. I'm going to put all these songs online, y'all. And sooner or later, when my brothers come up with my, <laughs> with my tapes and send them to me, I'll be showing y'all the TV shows I used to do when I was like 18, 19 years old. You know, I ain't new to hip hop. I ain't new to this shit. To all the little new rappers that was coming out hating on me and shit. Y'all be hating on all the, all the wolves and shit. That's why I released the whole pack on y'all ass, bitch. You came for me, so I, I made sure that all the old school came for they shit. For y'all try to wreck house and disrespect everybody. Disrespecting people that paved the way for you, nigga. I paved the way for a lot of you motherfuckers too, but you don't want to realize it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Instead, they came hate, telling on me and shit all over a video because I'm rapping good. Nobody had that going on. Look at this internet. You know? It's beautiful. Built in a positive way if y'all use it properly. Don't let the internet use you. Prince told y'all that shit, but a lot of y'all get on her and show hatred. I'm on her strictly with music and uplifting my people with comedy and, and, and trying to help them get their mind right. The other people on her arguing, debating, trolling, all that other shit. Don't come to my page with that shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's nothing but love over here. You come over here with that shit, I'm gonna shoot your ass right on back off. You gonna be deleted, blocked and every fucking thing. I don't even want you looking at my shit. That's why some motherfuckers can't see me. They was hating or biting, doing some shit they ain't got no business doing. And don't even know, you know. But I have put in that goddamn work way before 19 motherfucking 96, 97, I was out there in 94 doing this shit. As Kool-Aid, the rapper. Kool-Aid, C-O-O-L-A, I motherfucking D. I'm Kool-Aid cool now, goddammit, and here's the cassette. Where's my motherfucking? Here it is. Hold up, y'all. Shit. I'ma show, I'm show y'all who I am. And who I always continue to be. This motherfucker right here. This where it all started, y'all. Ain't new to this shit. They didn't tell y'all about that album, did they? Mm. They just tell y'all, we well, don't know. You a damn lie, bitch. <laughs> Who was on that TV screen first? Back before this internet shit ever happened. Who was opening up all the motherfucking rap shows that was coming to town and otherwise? I was. Me and Folk Choice. Facts. I talked to my manager earlier on here, y'all, and we was talking about this shit. Record deals I had, I didn't take and shit. It's a lot y'all don't know. <laughs> but I'm gonna let y'all keep on thinking I'm regular little old Kool-Aid Cool on here, some Instagram rapper or some Facebook rapper. I ain't damn sure ain't no troll. If I come under your shit, I comment for real. I ain't trolling. I ain't got time for none of that shit. I don't like to be trolled, you know? Some artists, they troll me so I can get into it with them. They can have an argument with me, a fake beef, trying to get their name known because they know my shit known. Don't try to use me to make your shit exciting, motherfucker. Use your gifts that God gave you, bitch. That's what I do. I don't go stalking nobody or fucking with nobody's shit. Use y'all talents. No, it's, it's room for everybody in music and, and, and entertainment. But use your talents. Y'all do a lot of biting. I see some comedy people that be biting off other comedy people shit. I'm a comedian myself. I haven't did a whole lot of stand-up online, but I'm gonna get to it. Right now, I don't feel like being funny. I try, some I have my days, but I don't feel like really doing no comedy because my heart ain't feeling that. I'm emotionally kind of going through some shit. So it's hard to be funny with that, but I could do this music. No problemo. 
But I want to thank each and every one of y'all for tuning in. If this is the first time you ever saw me live, I ask y'all to go down my timeline on my page, look at my profile, and look at all the stuff that I've been doing. You missed quite a bit. You know, I'm kind of still new to Instagram. <laughs> in a way, I've been here a couple of years or so, but I don't fuck with it as much as I should. I watch what y'all do mostly, you know, on Instagram. But Facebook is where I usually put all my work. That's where I put all my work. I have a, a Reverb Nation Cool Lady Cool. I have a Facebook Cool Lady Cool. I don't fuck with my Twitter like that, so it's a little naked, you know. So I'm going to get in tune with all of that stuff. I'm going to have a podcast because everybody know I got a real talk show, real talk TV where I talk live. Kind of like Red Table Talk. You know, it's a lot of ideas, you know, that's made it in this uh, uh, internet world that started for me, y'all, on God. I ain't going to lie to you. If only y'all was back there on my first page when I had my first Facebook. <laughs> You know, but that's why they took me down. Facebook took down my page without any warning or anything. I was on there one night and my shit just went blank. And they wouldn't let me back talking about my shit disabled for singing a goddamn song by Mariah Carey and Beyonce that's like probably 10 years old or more. That's some bullshit. Now they stopped me because I brought ideas to this bitch that even Facebook alone, the creator Mark Zuckerberg didn't even fucking bring. Nigga jealous, mad, take my shit off and then put all the shit on I'm doing on his motherfucking site. That's why y'all got face masks. That's why y'all got special effects and videos now. All of that shit started by me. You don't believe me? Go to my Facebook and find my shit. And it'll show you how it's been dated from way back before this shit. You could you could you could uh, Instagram. I mean, uh, you could um, YouTube it too and see. Been doing it, but now his ass going to court, and that's why God don't like ugly. You do me wrong, motherfucker. I'm for real. You ain't gonna get that shit back in return. I ain't gonna lie to you. So his ass in court, feeling his fucking pain and his shit. You no know, selling information and the bullshit they do with this motherfucker social media. Watching folks and whatnot, you know. Like I said, I brought a lot of ideas, but I never went viral. But I did get a hundred some plus thousand views. I did get fifty nine people talking about my music before that little bastard took my shit down. So I ain't mad. Now if I gotta rebuild, I gotta rebuild. I ain't mad because I just made top forty and a reverb nation of hip-hop artists, so I don't give a fuck. My music speak for itself, bitch. Ain't a goddamn thing you can do about that voice. Motherfuckers know I got this shit. They know I got talent. I was on reverb nation for one, for four fucking days. And when my results came back, I was top 40, number 15. You know what I'm saying? And I only put up part of my songs. That was old shit plus one new song. No, two new songs. So, I'm just blessed to be doing it on my own. I don't need no motherfucking internet uh, pushing me. I don't have to buy no uh, likes, no views, no sponsorships, no post boosts. That's why they took the shit off because I won't do it. If you go to my shit, everything organic. Every fucking like I got. You know, but they get mad, start blocking me, start making it where people won't see me go live, won't see shit. It's cool, though. <laughs> you see what God doing, though, in return of that favor you motherfuckers did. You know, can't do it ugly and think good gonna happen for your ass. A billion dollar ass industry, you fucking with a little motherfucker like me who trying to put my shit on. All because I stood up for protests for Michael Brown. I know why motherfuckers did it. And now the whole world standing up on this bitch. Look at God. You hated me just for going to a fucking protest and speaking up about all these fucking videos that come on the internet about the police. So you take off my shit and play like it was copyright infringements. But I know why. You know what I'm saying? And now look at the world. <laughs> all in y'all face on this bitch. See what I'm saying? 
God don't like ugly. You know, I wasn't no hateful person online. I don't spread hate, nothing like that. So I come for my shit. Don't want to see a nigga come up, but they quick to say a nigga don't want shit. A nigga want to be on welfare. A nigga can't read and write. Let you let racist people tell tell it. That's what they think of us. I'm highly educated. I'm a college graduate, bitch. I'm in the medical field. I'm in the rapping field. I'm in a lot of shit, and I didn't even go uh, do a medical job, but I learned the fucking field for a reason, just like today. Look at this virus shit. I'm going to know how to take care of me. And I'm going to know how to give shots to anybody that need one around me. You understand? <laughs> you know, I'm going to know what the fuck you sticking in me all at. I got smart. But music is my passion. Entertainment, that's, this is what I do. You know, this is my passion. I got other passions. I'm an entrepreneur. I run a shop. I cook. You know, I ain't a big fan of cooking, but I cook, and I'm a good cook, so I, I, I got a restaurant doing that as well. But I'm just trying to build from the gifts I know God gave me. And a lot of people didn't even know I played guitar, man. I shocked people. My manager was just talking about that today. Well, how come you can't never tell us you play guitar? Some shit just left not to be told and to be showed. God got had the time for me to perform with that motherfucker. And that first song y'all just heard, that was me on my guitar, on Fuck With It. That was all me. On my Jenny guitar. You know, Light of Fire, I was on the MIDI board on that one. But I produced some shit as well with my brothers. So I'm more than just hip hop, and that's why I'm so hard on the music. I learn from the best of them. I learn from geniuses, you know, like Michael Jackson now, you know, Prince and people like that. I explained that on Facebook. That's why y'all need to go over there and follow me there. If you're on Instagram, you need to go to my Facebook. My uh, name on there is Chris Williams, C-H-R-I-S. And I'm in the city of St. Louis, so you can search engine Chris Williams, C-H-R-I-S Williams on uh, Facebook in the search engine city of St. Louis and you'll find my ass. I, I got it like yellow on and I got some wolves and shit like in the video on my profile for my profile fit, picture. But uh, I want to thank y'all though. I love y'all. Y'all keep y'all head up. I know it's really hard right now. Uh, Y'all make sure y'all keep safety on you at all times. I'm serious. Long as your paperwork legal, you carry your shit. Because motherfuckers out here doing shit to people and trying to lie and call it suicide. Fuck all that. Save yourself, man. Save y'all selves. I don't believe in this suicide hanging shit. I don't know no niggas that hang themselves in the history of black people. So y'all need to carry protection to protect y'all selves, man. Real shit, legally. Not no illegal shit, y'all. Those who are illegal don't think about carrying something if you are legal. I don't want to see y'all go to jail. You know what I'm saying? But if you legal, you carry that shit. And watch y'all surround us. If it look like a motherfucker kidnapping or hurting somebody, y'all look in and step in on that shit and make sure that the people are okay. It's time we protect our own because ain't nobody else there to do it. Don't seem like it. all this shit steady happening. Ain't nobody else there. It's just us. Us as people, citizens. So y'all gonna have to step up for that. I appreciate those I see in videos doing such. I see some people standing up when they see wrong being done. And a lot of, a uh, few white people stood up. I see them in videos standing up when black people get picked on by Karens and, and racist people, you know. They haven't seen y'all stepping up. And that's what, what need to happen more. You know, your heart ain't bitter like these people or like the you know, hateful as these people. Let them know, you know, what it is. Everybody don't feel the same way, man. That's that old antique way of thinking, you know. And it's not helping nobody. All it's doing is causing destruction and chaos and drama on everybody's life. I don't care what color you is. Racism got to go out the door, man. And some people say, well, I never like this culture of people. Well, that's on you. You ain't got to. But you ain't got to fuck with them either. That's all we saying. You ain't got to fuck with them. You don't like them, don't look at them. Don't talk to them. Don't fuck with them. You know, if you don't like certain people, don't get it. It don't work for no public servicing where you got to deal with all kind of people. You know, 
I wish it was a way that people could, like, they could move their ass to the moon or somewhere. Yeah, you just be far away from the people that they hate. But it's a lot of love here around this world, and I see it, y'all see it. But it's a lot of hate going on, too. You know, but it's more love than it is hate. And some of y'all out here trying to push hate. Stop trying to push hate in these news feeds. Quit trying to make people like you. Everybody don't don't want the hate that you want. You know, you try to push things to make people fight. And what I say about that is when I see, you know, people get on there and say, why you ain't go down there and just tear up everything? And why you didn't go down there and do it, motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? Try to tell somebody else what to do why you didn't go do it. All I'm saying is together we stand. United we stand. If you don't stand for nothing, you fall for any motherfucking thing. Now, this virus thing, to me, it's a fake and it's real. But I know people that got sick from the shit. How do we get this virus? I think it's a more, I believe it ain't just no airborne shit. You know what I mean? Because the people I know went outside to get nothing like that from no airborne. And they wasn't around other people that was coughing or had no symptoms whatsoever. Or even got the shit. So how the fuck you get the shit? If you ain't went nowhere, you ain't doing that. It's some it's somewhere else. You know. So y'all need to really really be researching and learning things right now. I love y'all, man. Stay up, alright? And smile sometime. All these mean angry faces. Smile. You got a beautiful smile. You know? Right now we gotta wear a mask. You can't see all smiles, but y'all try to smile, man. All right, number love, I'm out, y'all.